May 20th, 2021. May 20th already. We are quickly coming to the summer season and all of the changes that that brings to our lives. I wanted to just challenge you a little bit this afternoon or this morning, whenever you're watching this, about your perspective, about your worldview, the way we look at the world, the way that we assume things are going to happen has a huge impact on how we're actually going to behave out in the world. And you've probably heard a lot about worldview issues over your lifetime, but I want to challenge you with a Jeremiah perspective today. A couple of times a year, I go back to the first chapter of Jeremiah in order to get my worldview squared away. And it impacts, in a significant way, the way that I look at the world, the way that I operate, the way that I behave. So I wanted to just read for you from the first chapter of Jeremiah today. Jeremiah lived in difficult times, and Jeremiah lived at a time when God's word was not being honored. He had to stand up to the government. He had to stand up to the believers who were a part of the Jewish system of religion in the 600s. And as he was called by God, we read these words in the first chapter of Jeremiah. Now the word of the Lord came to me saying, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. And before you were born, I consecrated you. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. As we look at those words that were spoken to Jeremiah, you and I today can know the same things that God communicated to Jeremiah. God knows you. God remembers you. All of the little complicated details of your life are not new to God. He knows you inside and out. He has consecrated you. That means He has set you aside for a, a special purpose. That's what the word consecrate means, to set aside for a special purpose. You may feel like you're just one of the seven billion people on planet Earth today, and you are on the one hand, but in God's eyes, He has something uniquely special. He's consecrated you, and He's appointed you. There, there's a situation in this world where He has placed you. There's a job that you might have. There's a neighborhood you live in. There's an apartment that you live in. There are people that cross your path on a daily basis. He has appointed you. Jeremiah was just a, a young guy when these words came to him from the Lord. In fact, many people think that he was probably somewhere between 14 and 17 years old. Because in verse 6, Jeremiah says, Then I said... Ah, Lord God, behold, I do not know how to speak. I'm only a youth. But the Lord said to me, Do not say I am only a youth, for to all to whom I send you, you shall go. And whatever I command you, you shall speak. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you to deliver you, declares the Lord. Like us, Jeremiah spoke to God honestly and said, I'm a little young for what you're calling me to do. And God said, don't say that. That's not important. Remember, I know you. I've set you apart for a special purpose. I've appointed you. And so, don't be afraid. I'm with you to deliver you, declares the Lord. We also can know the truth that God spoke to Jeremiah in these verses. Don't be afraid. God knows your situation, and God will supply you with everything that you need at the time that you need it. 
Don't be afraid. God is with you and will rescue you. Verse 9 of chapter 1 in Jeremiah says this, Then the Lord put out his hand and touched my mouth. Jeremiah, as a prophet, was going to have to speak. So God had set him aside for this, or set him apart for this special task. And so God touched his mouth because that was going to be important. Jeremiah was going to speak. And the Lord said to me, Behold, I've put my words in your mouth. You see, God is equipping Jeremiah. And then God asks Jeremiah to form a worldview. <laughs> and here's the worldview. He said, look, look, Jeremiah, see, I have set you this day over nations and over kingdoms to pluck up and to break down, to destroy and overthrow, to build and to plant. Now, God isn't appointing us as a prophet in the way that he appointed Jeremiah, but he is appointing us to specific things in the world. And in Jeremiah's world, God wanted him to see the way things operate. Jeremiah, I've appointed you over the nations and the kingdoms. In other words, you're just one person, but you've heard this said by many people, uh, one person with God on their side is a majority. Well, That's what God wanted Jeremiah to remember. And God gave Jeremiah this vision of the world. Jeremiah, as you go out there and you speak my words, the purpose of these words and the purpose of what I want you to go out there to do is to pluck down, to break down, or to pluck up, to break down, to destroy and overthrow, to build and to plant. Something interesting about Jeremiah's work, and I think... It's probably true of our work that the Lord has called us to do as well. Two-thirds of what Jeremiah was doing and what he was called to do was destructive and negative. God had set Jeremiah up to pluck down, to, to pluck up, to break down, to destroy and overflow, overflow, overthrow. It's only after those four negative words that God says to build and to plant. We've all seen quite a bit of destruction over the last 14 or 15 months. We have seen things uprooted and destroyed. Things that we once counted on are no longer there. What if... God has done the heavy lifting for us already in plucking up and breaking down, destroying and overthrowing. And he's allowed us now to build and to plant. Brothers and sisters, it's time to build and to plant. There's been enough destruction. There's been enough overthrow. It's time for God's people to build and to plant. And what does that mean for you? Why don't you do something new? Why don't you do something different? Why don't you consider some ways in which you could serve here at Calvary Church that you've never thought of before? Maybe that's working with children. Maybe that's working with students. Maybe that's joining our hospitality team. Maybe that's joining our tech team. Maybe that's simply being a part of some of the different social gatherings that are a part of what we're doing on a weekly basis. Maybe that's committing to pray with a group of other believers. Maybe it's something totally out of anything that we are doing right now, something completely different. Build and plant. Do something new as you serve here at Calvary. Uh, This summer, we're going to try something brand new. We have talked and talked for over 10 years about how fun it would be to do a family vacation Bible school. Well, this summer, we're going to have fog. Family Adventures with God. That's an opportunity for you to be a part of something brand new. We need people to come. We need families to come and attend and simply be a part of it. And we also need people that would be willing to serve. Brothers and sisters in Christ, what's your worldview? 
God gave Jeremiah a brand new worldview. And yeah, there was a negative side to it. But the ultimate end and the ultimate goal was Jeremiah wants you to build and plant. Do something new. New. 